hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to talk another plant which is common in areas like the philippines so this plant is a red palm trees but before that let us watch first this video button below so that you will be updated for my next video so in today's video we are talking about another plant and it is called um, red palm trees as I said earlier and it also known as raha plant or lipstick plant palm and it has and it it is a slender multi stem slow growing plant that can grow from 16 feet to 59 or 59 meters tall and it has a red crown shop leaves and it is uh, by the way it is a native from Malay Peninsula but introduced in the Philippines in the post World War II meaning it is introduced in the Philippines after the World War II. Its economic importance is that it can be uh, cultivated outside, especially in parks or even outside your uh, outside your houses. And you can use it as a fence, a private fence in your house, because of its effective. These trees have a clamping nature that creates varying heights of its trunks and because of its staggered effect, it can create a natural fence privacy. So meaning, you can make it as a fence in your area which makes it a beautiful effect to your house. And also, alternately, uh, alternatively, suckers can get or you can get it and propagate it so that's it that it it ha is how you can propagate its suckers they are also uh they are also resistant to uh pests but cannot sometimes they are prone for spider mites or uh, some diseases or some pests that's why it's really important that you take good care of it by um, giving it uh, um, uh, spray that can help it out of the so that some of the pests cannot uh, go in that plant and also uh, this plant has is not tolerate the drought the winds or even the cold temperatures that's why they are good in tropical countries or tropical weather where in the, in the moist and humidity are just balanced in nature by the way uh, this kind of palm trees grows in different species and sizes so there are different kinds of palm just like this lipstick palm that's why you can have a fun way of or pan choice of in their foliage uh, although they are low maintenance but you really need there is an extra level of caring this plant to thrive so there is a certain care even though it's a low maintenance plant but still you need to focus on it and give it a value just like people you need to value them so th so that they feel that they are important that's why they grow easier faster and beautiful so now let's go to how to take good care of a red palm trees or lip lipstick trees first of all is the sunlight so sunlight is a very important 
for a plant to grow effectively. But for palm trees, it is very important that you uh, you give the partial um, the partial sunlight on it because it is needed, especially if it is young and tender. Good if it's already matured one, so you can uh, have it as a partial uh, or gonna have it a full light on on it because if you expose it to too much sunlight it can cause the burning of the leaves and it becomes curly in curly tips that's why it's very important to give the palm trees in a shaded area or uh, in their area where in sun it is not that is indirectly to the sun otherwise your palm trees might have a brown leafy tips so the next one is water so the proper care of lipstick plants or red palm trees involves water this plant really needs water and it grows wonderfully um, near the water sources like ponds or rivers if lipstick plant or the red palm trees grows in container frequent watering is needed because it might uh, dry out and also to keep it quench so this moisturing this moisturing kind of plant really needs a moist moisture and humidity uh, because um the dry out can cause the dying of the plants because the roots is really needs an effective uh, watering but also you should be careful also enough that too much water of the plant might cause the rotting of the uh, plants because one of the um, signal of this is that when yellowish of the leaf so it is a it's a time that um, you need to balance the watering of this plant not too much not too little otherwise um, it can cause the dying of this plant so there should be a balance of moisture and humidity for the effective grow of this plant otherwise it will end up uh, dying so if your so if your plant is uh, if your lipstick plant or red palm trees is placed in a container and uh, uh, keep adequate drain of excessive water to ensure the healthy growth of the plant and avoid uh, avoid the plant um, to dry out if you are just occasionally watering it so that it will grow in its longest time and wonderfully next is pest be wary of pest palms we all know are prone of pests like mollybugs or spider but it can be treated through inside the insecticidal soaps or any spraying insecticides so that this um, this pests might keep away so it's very important to keep our palm trees grow beautifully otherwise it will end up uh, being bitten or eaten or consumed by the pests 
that we don't know. So we need to really closely monitor or inspect our plants or palm trees so that they will long last and grow wonderfully and more beautiful as the time goes by. Pruning occasionally. Pruning off the dead brown leaves can help your palm grow uh, more healthier but be careful not to over prone otherwise some fronts might be the main source of plants nutrition and also it can protect other elements so it's important that you know and you know where to prone some of the uh, leaves or stem or the trunk of it so that some of the main source of nutrition will not be affected and we should be aware of it because uh, this red lipstick or this palm trees is a very critical in nature it uh, small things that can be taken off from it will cause it into the danger and always remember and always take note that do not cut off the the um the uppermost layer or the the top cut of it because it can cease or stop the growth of your palm trees lastly use fertilizer so general houseplant fertilizer or specialized farm fertilizer can be used because this fertilizer can provide um, the proper not nutrition needed for the palm trees like lichen, iron and, and other or potassium that that will help the plants grow uh, bigger or healthier so to ensure the healthy uh, plant or palm you should be able to use an appropriate fertilizer for the palm trees so my tip is to use fertilizer every twice a year or once a year just to make sure that your palm trees grows healthier so that's all I hope you learned something from my talk or my uh, my talk or my topic for this uh, vlog and if you want more videos like this just keep subscribing and please 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 uh, top the subscribe button so that you will be notified for my next video. So thank you so much. Bye. Bye